Are you looking to learn how to make a needle felted sunflower? If so, then you're on the right video because today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to make one and more. everyone and welcome to today's video how to make a needle felted sunflower my name is Iceland and on this channel snowflake forest felting I share needle felting videos needle felting tutorials like this one and have product reviews from time to time so if you're new and this interests you please consider subscribing and if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel be sure and check the links down in the description below this video or leave a comment I'd love to connect with you there to start I'm going to show you everything you're going to need to make your needle felted sunflower flower. You're going to want your surface and your needle protectors. The foam pad works great for that. You're going to need your needle felting needles. You're going to want some fabric wire or just wire to make the stem stronger. A pair of scissors or wire cutters to cut that wire. You're going to want the color wool that you want your sunflower to be. I've got some yellows, browns, and greens. And then lastly, if you want to sew any seed beads onto your sunflower to make the center look more like seeds, you can do so. So have some thread and needle as well. And you'll want a pair of scissors if they have a curved tip that is wonderful because that will help trim up the wool on your sunflower once you're done felting it. To begin, grab your surface protector and the color of wool for the petals and your felting needle. You are going to want to make a lot of petals and they're going to be super thin. So you'll be working with just the color directly, no bone color for the inside of the petals. You can pick a spot where you usually use this color because you do not want like this red bleeding into it. And then you're also going to want to mesh these colors a little bit for the petals because you can see here on this sunflower photo that I took, the inside is more golden and orange than the outside of the petals. We want these two colors to blend well. Go ahead and line out a whole bunch of petals you're going to want these as similar in size as possible. These petals are also going to be pretty small, depending on the size of the project you want to make. My flower that I am making is going to be about 4 inches in size. Then take your darker golden or orange color and put a little bit inside. Now that you have most of your petals laid out, depends on how full you want your sunflower, you're going to want to start felting them all and you're going to want to mesh these colors together. You can see here I am working with a little bit of batting and roving so I don't want this roving to just be kind of like stuck inside of it. I really do want it blended so pulling it apart and meshing the two is going to be key to making that look the best once you have felted it. And then you're going to want more of the tip, solid brighter yellow, so leave some of the tip of the petal completely yellow. Don't mesh that more golden color in with it. And then you can do that as you go with each petal. And then to begin making your petal, just go ahead and take your needle felting needle and start piercing the wool. And as you pierce it, shape it into the shape of a petal. So you want your pointed tip here. I want it rounded a little bit, but they are pretty long petals, and then rounded here at the base. Now flip it back and forth multiple times. Alright, here you can kind of see it's starting to take some petal shape but you're gonna to wanna to continue to felt this until it is super solid. Try and make your lines as straight and smooth as possible so you don't have to trim it too much once you're done felting it. And then just continue this process of felting each petal until all your petals are done. Once your petal is all felted, you're going to want to trim around it just a little bit to clean up the edges and create a little bit more of a point. And just like that, you'll have your first petal done. 
go ahead and start on the next and continue this process until all of your petals are complete. As you are finishing all of your petals, the next we're going to work on is the center of the sunflower. My sunflower is looking to be about four and a half inches in length. And I did nine larger petals and nine smaller petals. The small ones are about one and a half inches and the larger ones are just under two inches. And there you can see them up close. Go ahead and put your petals aside. Now take some of your brown color or the color you've chosen for the center of your sunflower and begin to mesh the two colors. You can blend them as much as you would like. So you're going to use your loose wool here to attach the petals to each other. So begin to fill the center of the sunflower. Now take your petals, them around, and then felt the petal into it. So now be super careful when you pick it up because it's not going to be completely attached. You want to flip it over and you'll see how the wool has come through a little bit. Like there. So that's going to be the back side. You're going to want to be super careful to not punch the brown through the front. Alright, now you're going to want to take some of your extra loose brown wool here that you've meshed and create a circle and help attach each petal and make a nice round line all the way around it on both sides. There you can see I've started to make the circle. It just needs a lot more felting to make it look a lot better. So keep flipping it back and forth and felting it if you even need to add more wool to the center so it's sturdy and not too thin, do so. Once you have that nice and felted, it is time to add the second layer of petals on. And then do the same thing and use little bits of your meshed wool to attach each petal and felt it into the center. When you flip it over and felt it on the back, just be careful to not like felt any of the brown up into the petals. And then just keep felting this until it's completely secure and all nice and felted. Look at that, it's really starting to look like a sunflower now. Once you've finished felting the center of your sunflower and getting all the petals attached, it's time to work on the stem. There's the front of mine. And that's what the back looks like. You can go ahead and put it aside. So go ahead and grab your wire and your tape measure, your wire cutters or scissors, and you're going to want to cut this to be three inches in length. I am gonna do a bit of mesh color around the stem. I want both of these to be really well blended. So take your wire and the wool that you're gonna use for your stem color so then wrap it around the wire as well as you can and then leave a little bit at the end to use for attaching it to the sunflower. You're going to want to be super careful when felting this to not break a needle on the wire. There's a look at it a little bit closer. So this is going to take some time to felt. Just be really patient with it. Don't rush the process. And just make a nice, really smooth stem. Working around a wire is a lot different than just normal needle felting. Once 
once you've finished felting your stem, go ahead and trim all around it. And then it is time to begin felting your leaf. I'm gonna use the brighter green for the leaf color and then I'll go and use some of this to add some lines on the leaf. These don't need to be super big, probably just about two and a half inches in size, two inches. You're gonna want this to be super thin too. Like you did the petals and they're nice and wide leaves that have a little bit of a point. Leave a little extra where you're gonna attach it onto the stem. And then do the same for the other leaf. And then continue felting these until they're completely felted. We'll flip them back and forth. Need to add any wool, do so. Once both of your leaves are finished, go ahead and take your scissors and give them a nice trim up as well. Smooth them all out. Once you've finished trimming it up, it is time to add some lines on your leaf. The best way to do this is roll the color you want to use between your fingers and begin to just pierce it down the center almost as if you were drawing a line with it. Trim the end, tuck the fibers down in like so. Then roll the wool again between your fingers and create a line diagonal from the center to the outside. Trim it and tuck the fibers in like so. And then continue this all the way down the side on each side. Felt on the other side a little bit too. Be very careful to not mess your lines up too much when you flip it to the other side. Just felt gently. Make sure everything is felted really well. And that's what it looks like. Trim it up a little bit as well. And then get started on your next leaf. There, both leaves are finished now. Set them aside. And now it is time to sew on the beads. This is super simple. You can put them in a design if you want or you can just put them kind of sporadically all around. Take a little bit of thread. Thread it through the needle. Then where you want to put on your first bead Go ahead and thread the needle through. And pull it off. Take a bead and put it on. Then tie it in a couple knots. I like to not leave very much on the one end because then I can continue to use the thread a couple times. Couple more knots. Trim it. Thread I'll use again. Set the other piece aside and then tuck the thread ends down in. And just like that, you'll have a bead on there. If you need to add any wool to cover around it or you just want to wrap it around the bead to help secure it, it's best to do so. So just wrap a little bit of wool around the bead and felt it down in. And then you know that bead is extra secure. And then repeat that process until the desired amount of beads are on your sunflower. And then repeat that process until the desired amount of beads are on your sunflower. finished sewing all the beads on make sure it is still felted really well there you can see what it looks like once you get a bunch of beads on it 
Now grab your stem and your two leaves and it's time to attach all of it together. Depending how long you want the stem and where you want the leaves at will determine where you're going to want to attach and place them on. Alright, so take the first leaf and the extra wool that you have, spread it all out. You'll want to make a nice broad area for attachment. And then begin to just felt it onto the stem and attach it from all angles until it is completely felted on like so and then do the same with the other one take a little of your mesh colored wool and cover over that. You want it to be blended in. Once your leaves are attached, you'll have your stem and it'll be time to attach on the flower. Place some of the brown colored wool underneath the stem and then some on top of it as well like so and then felt this on very gently and do this until it is completely felted securely so then your stem will be attached you don't want to make the green come through or break a needle on a seed bead if you wanted to attach the stem before adding on seed beads, you can. The only reason I don't is because I don't like my stem just flopping around as I'm sewing on the beads. I like to just be able to work on the centerpiece without the stem attached. Now that you've finished attaching your stem, your sunflower is almost complete. Go ahead and look it over and give it any last trimming that it may need or felting. And then once you're done with that, your sunflower is complete. That's everything you need to know to make a needle felted sunflower and be a fiber artist too. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please be sure and give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and if there's something you'd like to see me make next, leave it down in the comments below. I might just make it. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!